Hi everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AVWA from AirVenture 2023. I'm here at Whisk Aero, which conducted the first public demonstration flight of an autonomous air taxi yesterday with their fifth generation EV toll. Here's Becky Tanner with more. Good morning, I'm Becky Tanner, the Chief Marketing Officer of Whisk Aero. And we are so excited to be at Oshkosh 2023. This is our first time being here at this event and it's been absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited to share a little bit more about the aircraft that is right next to me. This is our sixth generation aircraft. It is a fully electric, self-flying, four-passenger, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And as I mentioned, it is fully autonomous. So there is no pilot on board. There's no pilot on the ground. However, there is certainly human oversight with a multi-vehicle supervisor who will be monitoring multiple flights at any given time. WISC has been flight testing for a long time. So the vision for this technology originally started in 2010. We came out with our first generation aircraft in 2011 and we have been successfully flying five gener generations of aircraft to date. In fact, we have successfully completed around uh, just more than 1,700 full-scale aircraft tests without any accidents to date. So that's something that we're really proud of at WISC. We're working towards test flights with the sixth generation aircraft um, and more on that to come soon. This plane is built for our um, customer journeys in urban areas. We really think that that's an important first path forward, if you will. So this aircraft is built to fly 90 nautical miles with reserves. However, we think that customer trips are gonna be shorter than that. So we anticipate most routes to be about 15, 20 minutes in terms of flight duration and um, much less distance than 90 nautical miles. Uh, this aircraft will fly anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 feet above ground and fly around 110 knots. And then if you look at the cabin, it's quite spacious. We've designed it down to the 5th percentile female all the way up to the 95th percentile of male. So it's quite spacious even for our really tall passengers. This aircraft can carry about 900 pounds um, in total. And then of course, once battery technology continues to improve, that will help all sorts of things. I also would like to tell you a little bit more about what we've um, been working on at WISC in terms of engaging our future customer. Um, so we have been regularly doing customer research and most recently we spent a lot of time hearing from potential passengers who um, are people with disabilities. So a wide range of disabilities and we really want to make sure that this um, service is accessible for people with disabilities and also at a price point that makes it accessible for a wide range of the population. So the aircraft has been built to carry wheelchairs, allow for people with disabilities to safely get on board without it being awkward and clunky for them. We've planned for people who are colorblind, people who have um, trouble hearing or may be deaf. And so this is one of the aspects that I think we're most proud of at WISC is that we really are designing for everyone. And for WISC, because this is um, going to be part of the future of commercial aviation, we are designing to the highest avi uh, commercial aviation standards for catastrophic failures. This aircraft is absolutely built with safety across the board. There is no single point of failure. Um, so in the chance of anything possibly going wrong, rest assured, you could um, still continue on on your flight. And I think one of the most important things to consider is that these are short trips. You aren't going from coast to coast or from country to country. These are 15, 20 minutes. But um, one of the things that I think is really important for us to share with the general public is that there's absolutely no single point of failure. And because these take off and land like a helicopter, we don't need a runway. So if you do need to change your landing point, you can do that, and you won't need a big space to be able to do that safely. We have an active certification program right now with the FAA, so we've submitted our TC, and we're currently working our G1 and G2. We have a fantastic engagement with the FAA. Um, these things take time. 
and they should take time because this is a new type of aircraft that will be carrying passengers in urban environments. And so this has become a really highly collaborative engagement with the FAA. We're meeting weekly. We're working through these things together. They know our stated timeline, which we haven't released publicly, and they have been side by side with us and we're working towards that goal.